Real quick video here about uh, grounding on Omega Race. Uh, the other two cabinets, I remember I had a tough time trying to figure out how they grounded the control panel. Um, I don't remember having that issue with the coin door, but my first cab was in 2008, my second was in 2010, it's now 2018, so the memory is a bit sketchy. Um, I just figured it out going through my old photos, um, at least figured it out to my satisfaction, so I thought I'd make a quick video about it. Um, all arcade cabinets should have any metal parts that somebody might touch um, connected to earth ground so you don't get a shock. Now, most cabinets, the earth ground is a, a green or a green and some other color striped wire or maybe a black wire that all they all connect up in the cabinet and if you use a multimeter on continuity test they should all end up on the third prong on a three prong power outlet so that's the earth ground plug the uh, the one that's the round plug not the two spade type plugs so Omega Race seems to have a little problem with the way they did it instead of which most cabs do they route it through connectors. These plastic connectors that you can see that have wires going to it from the cabinet and then there's a connector and then wires go to the coin door in this example. Now the reason there's a connector there, one of the reasons, is so that they can make a harness for the arcade game that ends in the connector and then they can buy a coin door that has wired to a connector and whatever arcade game they make, as long as they know how they wire their coin doors, they can just plug their cabinets into the coin doors because they, they know what that connection is. So why not just do solid wires all the way from the wiring harness to all the individual parts of the coin door? Well, what if you have to take the coin door off to service it? Somebody maybe broke into it in an arcade or kicked it in or they spilled something in it and it got all messy. So you want quick disconnect for your control panel, your coin door, anything, your monitor, any any individual parts you should be able to remove just the part that needs servicing service it and then put it back together. So usually combined with that they have the wire for the earth ground. Well Omega Race doesn't. So where is the ground on the coin door on Omega Race? It's right here. I'm not sure if this flashlight how much it's helping but right in between those two um, shoots that the quarters go down there's a screw and that screw is connected to a wire in this cabinet that wire is purple uh, photos from the cabinet I had in 2010 that wire is white with a black stripe photos I saw online looking at Omega Race coin doors it's solid white or it's brown so evidently there was no standard color for that wire it's always connected in the same spot and you can tell it's a ground wire because basically it's it's screwed to the metal of the coin door and nothing else there's no switch there there wouldn't be any kind of a switch there it's it's only use could be as a ground wire so in this cabinet, the purple wire just ended. Um, it just stopped with bare wire at the end. There was no connector. Normally, they would go through the same coin door connector as the rest of the coin door lines. But this one didn't. Now one thing I noticed is the large coin door connector there, a 12-pin connector, there are two unused positions in that connector. I also notice there's an unused two pin connector right above it there in front of the purple wire. Now that is for a second coin meter. This game has one coin meter up there in the upper corner but it has provision if you use this coin door in a game that you wanted to have two coin meters so you'd keep track of the coins going into the left slot and the right slot separately. Well, if you add up the number of wires going into that 12-pin connector and add 2, you get 
12 so there's no room in that connector for the ground wire so I think it was a simple oversight that they didn't use a big enough connector or they simply didn't think of it in the design phase that they needed to ground them which is why maybe the ground wires are different colors on all the machines I'm looking at online is they were added later when they realized oh we you know we, for legal reasons or whatever we need to ground our coin doors and so they just grabbed whatever wire they had on hand routed into the cabinet okay well that's fine you're in the cabinet but now when you're in the cabinet where are you going to connect that to okay there is provision in the cabinet right there you see two wires green with yellow stripe those are earth ground they go all through the cabinet they connect uh, these fluorescent fixtures to ground they connect other things to earth ground but these two were just sitting in the cabinet twisted together well they shouldn't be twisted together they should go somewhere so that was my first clue that those would be ground wires but normally in a cabinet like I said everything's connected with quick disconnect connectors so why were those two wires just hanging loose just bare wires twisted together the coin door wire was just lying in there twisted together well it made sense that the coin door has to connect to one of those ground wires but how was it done when there were no connectors okay let's take a step over to the control panel the control panel here you can see there's a wire that doesn't serve any purpose as far as connecting to a switch that goes from this metal connector which is the latch that holds the coin door down on this or the control panel down on this side it runs over to the same same bracket on this side okay then a wire goes to this bolt and then it goes from the bolt to the actual spinner metal spinner handle assembly so that is obviously a ground line for the control panel but when I got this cabinet this wire wasn't attached it was just okay this 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 tab is grounded to the tab on the other side and they're grounded to the spinner and they're grounded to this bolt but again it has to be connected into the cabinet so that it eventually goes into the earth ground on the outlet on the plug so going through my pictures from my other cabs um, one of the cabs I had I saw a picture where I had I was holding the control panel right here and I could see there was a green wire that looked like it was coming from the control panel tied to another green wire with a wire nut so just bare wires twisted together with a wire nut and I thought okay I thought that was maybe something that somebody had done later because the proper way that they were connected came apart and they were just lazy they had a wire nut on hand and they and they used the wire nut well then looking at the picture of the other Omega race cab I had I didn't have a picture of from that same angle but I did have a picture that showed down inside a wire that looked like the color coming off the coin door also twisted with a wire nut into a green ground wire so that's when I realized that originally what I think they did is for whatever reason they didn't plan the grounding properly and so they had two ground wires earth grounds coming from their game harness that just ended right here and then they took one of them and they twisted it with the wire coming off the coin door that like I said they're, they're all different colors so I think they just used whatever spare wire they had put the ground wire on there and then they connected it with a wire nut to here and the same thing with the control panel I what I've done here is I believe I've replicated what they must have originally had is they just had another ground wire on this bolt it serves no purpose other than well yeah it basically serves no purpose because 
this tab is connected to the other side and it's connected to the spinner so why does it have to go through this bolt well the only reason I can think of is because there was a wire coming off this bolt that ended with a bare wire that they twisted with a wire nut to the other ground wire inside the cabinet so here's what I've done since we're looking at the control panel this is what I did is I just took a green spare green wire that just happened to have a yellow stripe in my spare wires and I screwed it to the bolt and I terminated it with a Molex single pin connector so you can see these actually Omega Race uses amp connectors they're a slightly use a different pin and a different housing but you can see a connector usually has a female and a male end so I used a Molex connector that's just one pin instead of this example here is six pin connector. So this is just a one pin connector with a Molex pin in it. The coin door, similarly, I took the purple wire, which was just bare, and I put, you can see in there, a single pin Molex connector. Then, I put on the other end of the two earth grounds that were in the cabinet originally, I put the other end, mating end, of those Molex single pin inline connectors. So now, if you need to take the control panel off, you have to disconnect the control um, connectors, which are down in the coin box there and you have to disconnect the single ground wire. If you need to service the coin door by removing it, you need to disconnect, there's actually two connectors there, there's a 12 pin and behind it there's a, a 2 pin. You need to disconnect those two and then you disconnect the single earth ground connector there. So what's the difference in the way I did it to the way it came from the factory? Well, the main difference is you don't have bare wires and you don't have wire nuts. So I'm sure the reason that these wires were just twisted together or loose is because at some point they needed to maybe work on the coin door. They took the coin door off, they untwisted the wire nut, and maybe they dropped the wire nut. So then when they go back to put it together, they can't find the wire nut, well, maybe they twisted the wire together from the ground to the coin door, but without a wire nut, it eventually would fall off. And maybe if the door was open or closed and it got a little pinched, it would just fall right off. The control panel, that one is more likely to be serviced, not only because um, the buttons tend to need adjustment now and then, or the spinner might need some servicing. But also, to get the glass off the cabinet, you have to take the control panel off first. So the control panel probably gets removed a lot more than the coin door. So that one, I'm betting that the wire that was connected through the screw bolt, the bolt there, the bolt nut was probably left wire nutted to the earth ground in there and then whenever they needed somebody needed to work on the control panel they probably unscrewed that bolt so they could take the control panel out and at some point along the line they just through laziness or forgetfulness they never screwed that wire back down so the you probably had the wire just laying in the cab and then at some other point somebody maybe got the cab and said well what is this wire that's just laying dangling in the bottom of the cab I think I'll take it off and then they probably saw the other wire dangling from the coin door because maybe that wire nut got lost and it was disconnected so they just twisted those two earth grounds together now twisting those two earth grounds together doesn't matter because they're earth grounds and they'll just be connected the control panel would not be grounded anymore and the coin door wouldn't be grounded anymore which will not keep the game from running it just means you might get shocked if there's some stray voltage so you know is it a safety hazard yeah 
Um, how much of a safety hazard? I don't know. How often do you get shocked when you play an arcade game? Maybe occasionally, maybe never. But fixing this up, I, I wanted to get this thing back, and like I said, this is my third one, and I remember having issues with, with grounding of the control panel and the other cabs, and I think the solutions I used then might have been um, the control panel here you can see it uses this is a this is there's a round disc inside this with metal contacts and then there's metal contacts that when you move the spinner it's kind of like brushes move along the metal contacts it's it's they re later replaced it with just a potentiometer so there were two types of Omega Race controllers. Now, I'm thinking these wires that are laying here, if I go back and look at my photos, these are for the potentiometer, if it uses that type. And then, wired to this are the ones for this type of encoder. So, if you look at this, if you can see in there, all the pins are used. So these are the two that connect up in my cab. So there's no way to put a ground wire in there. I think one of my other cabs had the potentiometer. So in the potentiometer, it uses these two, and this six pin connector only uses three. So I think I put a ground wire in one of these extra connectors in one of the old games that I had. Figuring, well, I don't know if that's how they originally did it, but it would work and let you take the control panel off. And then when you plug it in, you've got ground again. So, yeah, in a nutshell, I think I figured out what the deal is. Somehow in the planning, it doesn't look like they quite thought of how to, how to ground those out because using wire nuts in an arcade cabinet, you know, from the factory, um, at this stage, this game came out in 81, you'd think by then they would have not used wire nuts anymore and everything would have been a connector. But, whatever, um, looking at photos, I believe that what I've done is fairly true to original, but getting rid of the wire nuts. So now, oh, I also, when I put the connectors on the earth grounds there, I don't know if you can see it, it doesn't matter because they both connect to earth ground. They're both basically the same wire. But one of them I put a female end, and the other one I put a male so not that it matters, but the coin door only plugs into one and the control panel only plugs into the other one, so you can't get them mixed up. And again, it's the same wire, it really doesn't matter, but just to keep things simple, I thought I'd just add that little twist because it doesn't, you know, it doesn't take any more time to do and it just makes it seem a little bit more professional because you can't plug something into the wrong place, which is the way you always would like to get your connectors so you never have a, say, a 12-pin, two 12-pin connectors of the same gender plugging into each other where there's a possibility that you could do it wrong. So this way you can't do it wrong, even though, as I said, it's the earth ground wire, so it really doesn't matter. I didn't have to do that. It doesn't matter which one gets plugged into which port, but now, or which wire, but now there there's no choice because the female and male ends of the earth ground only plug into the coin door and the control panel only one way, so you can't mix them up. So there we go, just a longer video than I thought it would be about the grounds on the Omega Race cabinet. Um, I have not owned a Gorf before, it's pretty much of the same vintage. Um, I'm curious if, you know, what they did on that, if it was the same, or if this is the only cabinet they had this odd grounding setup on. But just something to watch out for. If you want to maintain safety, um, you should have earth ground tied to anything that you might possibly touch on your cab. And this is how you would do it in an Omega Race.